What if we allowed the things around us to influence our art? The small things, the little things, the smiles, the laughter, the leaves. Maybe it's the big things that influence us. Maybe it's, maybe it's an adventure or getting outside of our comfort zone. What if we are truly present in this day, in this moment, and we really see things, simple things, little things, that will influence how we create, how we react, how we feel? What if we were really present? That's my thoughts on this project as I started. And I wasn't planning on doing a redo, but I saw this in the pile of redo <laughs> pieces and knew that it would be perfect for the base for where I wanted to go. So I'll share more about that and all of the things that are inspiring me in just a few minutes. Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. So I have been on an adventure so far with this redo. I wasn't planning on doing a redo, but it seemed to fit. And so I went with it. And so far, I'm pretty happy with what we've got. A couple things before I kind of dive in here and just kind of explain my thoughts and explain the inspiration. I want to let you know that all the supplies that I use today will be listed on the blog. The link to the blog is down below in the YouTube description box. Um, also the stencil stencils, I've only used one so far. I don't know what else I will use, but those will also be on sale this week. Um, and again, that link is down below in the YouTube description box. The other thing I wanna remind you of is that window to my soul is um, on sale right now for early bird pricing of just $42 and it is really quite a journey of story and layers acrylic paint acrylic ink and watercolor it's just so much fun and just it's a peaceful journey so um, I hope you check it out and grab it at the early bird pricing you will have one more week to decide if that's something that you want to do okay so let's take a look at what I've got. So here we are, and um, I I covered up the paper, the, you know, some of the paper that was already there because I didn't want necessarily that pattern to show through. I wanted some of that pattern because it's pretty raised, and I wanted to kind of come back and disrupt some of of that what was originally there. And I have used so far 
some sap green, and some southern ocean blue. These are high flows. This is it's called a fluid. This is by Matisse, but it's like a high flow, like a golden high flow. I've also used a little bit of burnt umber high flow. I haven't used burnt umber in a long time, and when I put it down, I remembered why it's very very yellow and I like more of a cooler but I'm trying to kind of do some I'm trying to mix things up and this is part of my adventure um, and then I also used some titanium white acrylic ink in there to get some lightness and some variation I wanted some of that and it, there's a lot of water on here and I wanted some of that because I wanted it to look kind of watercolor ish um, but I also, of course, wanted it to be permanent because I'm now going to come back and do some reductive painting. I'm going to carve out my images from what I have here. And those images have been inspired by my walk, and you've seen that video already, and just my adventures so far this year. And so um, it's, it's not representational, it's from my mind. And I want it to be free, this image that I'm going to pull out of here, hopefully. Um, I want it to be free because that is my journey. And um, that's the part uh, that I want to talk to you about, about life influencing our art and um, how it is such a good, good thing. But we'll talk about that in a second. So the colors I plan to use for the background are unbleached titanium, raw sienna, burnt sienna, maybe a little bit of gesso for my white, and possibly a little bit of either burnt umber or raw umber in that background to give it just a tiny bit of grunge because I want some of those layers to kind of show through. But we will see when we get there because I've got a lot of carving out to do. I will be using, most likely, um, not that one, an angle brush. And the reason, and I've got a half inch angle brush, or yeah, that's a half inch. This is a one inch, this is a half inch. And the reason I'm using an angle brush is because I can get wider brush strokes and I can get very, very detailed strokes. And I may even go to a smaller one if I need to because I've got a little bit of detail here that I need to do. And I'm going to kind of draw this out with my um, charcoal pencil and I'll probably use my Stabilo all pencil in there somewhere to kind of give some watercolory effect as well. And last week or two weeks ago, I don't remember, um, everyone asked why I have a stick on my um, charcoal pencil. We did this in the membership. We were experimenting with um, scratchy lines and that's what this is for so that I can hold my pencil as far away as possible and get the most unpredictable lines and so I will be doing some of that towards the end to get those scratchy marks and I, it worked so well that I decided to just keep it <laughs> and this way I can always find it in my stash of pencils too. Um, so that is what I know so far. All right, my loves. So this is a really relatively simple project. Um, not a lot of things going into it, especially because the layer, the first couple of layers were down already. But what I wanted to just my, like my inspiration for this piece is has been life, and um, let life be a wonderful inspiration for what you create. Whether it be um, a journal page, a card, um, something for a family member, whatever it may be, um, allow life, the things around you, and you don't necessarily have to go on an adventure. It could be um, what's outside your window, what your um, what you saw in a television show or what you read in a book that truly inspired you. But part of that process of um, allowing life to influence your art is being present, is noticing. Sometimes we're just on autopilot. 
so very often. And um, we forget to notice the things around us, the things that matter, the things that are, um, again, inspiring to us. And um, that's what I'm really trying to do this year. My year of adventure, um, it's been a hard, it's been a hard one for me because I am requiring, I've made a promise to myself to get outside of these walls here and experience life on the outside. I'm inspired all the time by books and music and other artists and different things like that. I'm inspired by that all the time. But I want to go outside of these walls and take trips and go on adventures and do things that I don't typically do. And I made a promise to myself to do that. And because I'm doing that, I am seeing, I have, my camera is full, full of life. And it feels so good. And so I challenge you to, and it, and you don't have to go outside. You don't have to go on adventures, but be truly present in this day. And granted, not every day is a an aha moment of beautiful things. It's just not. That's not reality. But I'm increasing the chances of that happening by doing things differently, by thinking different, by having a different mindset, by getting outside of my comfort zone because I don't like taking risks. And these adventures, well, they're to anyone else, they're not risky. But just being outside of my little comfort zone um, is hard for me. I'm a homebody. And, but I'm willing to take the risk because I know what's on the other side. So maybe that's you. Maybe you're feeling like, ah, you're stuck in a creative rut. Or you're stuck in a creative or a life that feels like you're in a rut. Believe me, I know, because I do the same things every day. And while that's good, and that helps me in a lot of ways with my anxiety and all those kinds of things, I'm also willing to make a promise to myself and keep it. Um, and do the things that are going to bring me joy, that are going to bring me life, that are going to bring me memories, that are going to bring me things that I have to talk about and create about, those are the, I want the life, a life of things and not just me feeling safe. And um, while safety is important, um, I want more than that. And so I am trying to be present every day in the everyday, but, but always when we're on an adventure. And we have kept that. I've, I made a promise once a month that we would do something outside of the ordinary. And see, that doesn't sound like a ton. June was a crazy, busy month. Um, we had three trips in that month. And um, it did tend to stress me out just a tiny bit. But it was all worth it. So, my loves, allow life to influence your art but also allow yourself to be present and notice. Notice things that will bring you joy and that will bring a smile to your face and let it flow out into what you create. All right, my loves, I'm going to finish my piece. Check out Window for the Soul. I hope your Sunday is restful and peaceful and I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.